Hey guys, Ewan here and we have a lot of bodybuilding news, a lot of physique updates at two weeks out of Arnold and some other interesting stuff and uh, let me tell you, a lot of this stuff that you're gonna hear in this video you didn't hear at the Nick Strength and Power earlier today and let me tell you something, it's kind of hard to keep up with Nick right now. When I started this channel he was, you know, lagging behind a little, he wasn't really super focused but now it seems like he really wants that million subscriber milestone so he works hard and I'm currently prepping for a show you know dieting I'm doing cardio I just got home from a leg workout so I'm a little bit tired so I won't be able to yell as much as I usually do <laughs> and uh, I, I'll try to have some sense of humor but I'm pretty tired anyways here you can see Steve Lorius with his app check basically you can see the conditioning it's on point yeah abs are definitely dialed in but look at his physique right here this is a physique update, this is really something phenomenal and I do have this guy winning the show it's not gonna be easy for anybody to beat him right now last year he lost it to George Peterson and I wasn't really happy with that decision I thought George was better bodybuilder but if you talk about a classic physique I think the same case happened at the Mr. Olympia later and they gave the victory to more classic guy but it didn't happen at the Arnold Classic and I think this year, without anybody to outmuscle him, nobody really has more classic structure. The only guy that could challenge him a little, in my opinion, is Terence Ruffin. This is his physique update, and he looks phenomenal, for sure. Maybe not super conditioned, but I'm sure he, he knows what he's doing. He has experience, and he's always in great shape. So Eddie Arnold, I'm sure he will be just as conditioned as Steve, maybe even more. But the problem with this guy is that he's super short, he's like, I don't know, 5 foot 6 or something. So for classic physique, you know, the judges are looking for somebody with a bigger frame. Somebody to resemble Arnold or Chris Bumstead, actually, right now. And I think the best representation for classic physique at this Arnold Classic is going to be Steve Lorius. But it's going to be an interesting battle, that's for sure. I know everybody has seen this physique update of Blessing Awadibu. And I made a mistake in one of my previous videos, I said that he's prepping for the Arnold, but he's actually not prepping for the Arnold Classic Ohio, but I think it's Arnold Classic Australia or South Africa. Anyways, look at him, he looks outstanding, seriously. And this is only from the front, his back is also really amazing, and he has some time also to dial in, because he has the fullness, he should, I think he should definitely sacrifice the size a little and come peeled because he has the mass, and guys remember, this is his pro debut. He actually turned pro only a year ago, last year or 2018, I'm not sure, but at his pro debut, let me tell you, he's gonna do great, I'm sure, unless, unless, somehow, he doesn't bring great conditioning, and that's the only thing that can hurt him, and it's pretty possible for it to happen, he's not known for great conditioning, he is known for freaky mass, and it was enough to turn pro, but is it gonna be enough to do well at a pro rank? We'll see, we'll see, I think it's all about him bringing the conditioning right now, if he messes it up, it's gonna be bad for him, if he comes peeled, he can really be good, you know, he can actually place really high. But hey, we are two weeks out of Arnold Classic Ohio, which is the second biggest show in the world and definitely bigger show than 2019 Mr. Olympia. Yep, yep, it's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be better. I mean, at the Mr. Olympia, finalists were William Bonek and Brandon Curry. This year, it's probably gonna be William Bonek and Big Ramy. Big Ramy, in my opinion, is greater bodybuilder than Brandon Curry. Right now, maybe not so, because Brandon won the Mr. Olympia, but before... 2019 Mr. Olympia, Big Ramy was a bigger name, let's be honest. Even though he never won the Arnold Classic or the Mr. Olympia, he is the big freak. But here you can see Patrick Moore, somebody who is really loved by the fans. And um, at 2020 Mr. Olympia, if Dexter didn't announce his retirement, I'm sure this guy would win the People's Champion Award because people really, really like his physique. He brings that old school shape back into the game. But, let's face it, he's the second tier bodybuilder. He's not gonna be in the, in, the, in the question for winning the Arnold Classic. If that happens, that's a huge, huge upset. I don't think it's realistic to predict something like that. Even though I'm gonna make a separate Arnold Classic prediction video, right now I can basically tell you that 
the best case scenario. I said this a million times, actually. If you follow my channel, I'm sure I, I bore you with this, but yeah, top four, the best case scenario. And I'm actually thinking that uh, even though he has an amazing back, look at his back, a really good back. He has a lot of good features and he has some weaknesses. For example, his quads are just horrible, in my opinion. I still think he's gonna, he's gonna do great, no doubt about that. He's gonna do great no matter what. I mean, I'm sure he's gonna move up. He's not gonna be 10th place like the Mr. Olympia. I'm sure he's gonna do better than that. And this is his first Arnold Classic. But what about Sergio Oliva? Everybody's sp speaking about him also right now. Everybody expects him to do well. Sean Roden actually had him in his top four pick, I believe. Yeah, he had Sergio right there. I don't think it's really realistic. I mean, for Sergio to beat Dexter. Come on, come on. No. No, no, he cannot beat Dexter, he cannot beat William Bonac, he cannot beat Big Ramy, and um, top four, yeah, sure it's possible, but nothing better than that. I mean, let's not let's not exaggerate things. And this is a physique update of him at about two weeks out, and uh, this is not really super impressive photo, it's not a really good lighting, you know, somebody just grabbed a selfie with him, but uh, let me tell you something also. If you watched his most recent interview with the RX Muscle, Dave Palombo, of course, is the host. Dave Palombo is personal friends with Chris Asito. Chris Asito is Sergio's coach. Chris Asito sent photos, posing photos of Sergio to Dave Palombo. And Dave's response, actually Dave's comment about uh, Sergio's potential placing is that he is still a second tier of bodybuilders. So he really doesn't have him... Uh, you know, beating the guys, beating the top guys, like Big Ramy, Philem Bonac and Dexter. He has him battling for that top six. That's a really a great achievement, because if he cracks the top six, it's gonna be, you know, either him or Cedric McMillan. Cedric is one of the top guys. Everybody says he can win the Mr. Olympia. He He's the previous Arnold Classic champion. You also have Jocelyn Artovitz, who is an amazing bodybuilder, huge guy. And a lot of other great bodybuilders. So if if Sergio Oliva Jr., so a son of a great Sergio Oliva Sr., if he cracks the top six, that's gonna mean something. That's gonna definitely mean something. That's gonna mean that, he, that he's actually making some real progress, and potentially he may even fulfill the potential, uh, the expectations actually from the audience because his father achieved so much. We'll see what happens, but I do have him placing great not in the top three, top four again, best case scenario. Will he be better than Patrick Moore? It's arguable. I cannot really predict something like that. But they are kind of close with the size and they both have some really good aesthetics. So we'll see. We'll see who brings better shape pretty much. But Sergi definitely has much better quads. And I think he has overall more complete physique. He doesn't have that freak factor, the small tiny waist and huge arms like Patrick. So it's going to be definitely interesting comparison, and I can't wait to see it, actually. Okay, so I mentioned Dexter, and yeah, Dexter is retiring. It's really unbelievable. I mean, when I started following bodybuilding, he was there, and he was there like 10 or 20 years ago, and he's there today. And actually, next year, he's not gonna be here anymore. Not at the Mr. Olympia stage, not at the Arnold Classic stage, and it's really... Hard to believe, but, you know, when I grabbed the first muscular development magazine in my life, when I actually fell in love with bodybuilding, it was, I believe, 2008 edition, and he was on the cover because he was the Mr. Olympia that year. Actually, I opened the magazine and I saw Jay Cutler as a runner-up uh, on the first page, and I liked Jay Cutler more, but basically, Dexter is pretty much the first bodybuilder that I ever saw in a bodybuilding magazine, and uh, now he's retiring. It's, I mean, he prolonged his career a lot, but yeah, he's retiring. Anyways, uh, he posted a story where he basically addressed his retiring and he almost started crying. I mean, his eyes got all watery and he couldn't finish the sentence. He couldn't say what he wanted to say. He says he can do it, but he's going to do it probably later. We'll see what else he has to say. But at a Mr. Olympia, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be an amazing Mr. Olympia, but it's going to be very emotional, I'm sure about that. But before the Mr. Olympia, of course, we have Arnold Classic and Dexter Jackson is going to collide against this guy right here, William Bonek, with a new physique update. And look at that tricep. It's popping a little bit too much. Don't you think it's a little bit weird? Could it be oil? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, guys. But uh, he's definitely a freak and he's, you know, aiming for the win. 
Um, I know that. I know he's really focused. I think he believes that he can actually beat Big Remy. Is that really the possibility? It's all about the conditioning of Big Remy, but you can see that Bonac is bringing the shape. I mean, he's always in good shape. I don't think you ever really saw him off. I think his worst was like 95%. Adam Mr. Olympia, he was off. He was really flat. He was not full as he can usually be, but still it was good enough to be second in the world. So it's gonna be hard for Big Remy to beat him. But, you know, I wanted to say something about his personality. You know William Bonac, he is... He's a he's fire. He is a, he has that fire personality. I like to call it that way. Um, when he doesn't like something, he says it. At a Mr. Olympia press conference once, some people laughed at him when he was speaking about his wife or his girlfriend or something like that. He was being serious. People thought that he was joking about something, and he got angry at the audience. So imagine that. And when Neil Hill pissed him off, he made a public video and he talked about it openly. And he was pretty aggressive about it also. So that's William Bonac. And uh, some people don't like it. Some people like it. But basically he has a strong personality. And he has, I would say, pretty big ego. And uh, I would I like to see that. I like to see some personality. I like to see some something. I mean, he's staying too neutral lately. I don't like that. I want to see him fired up again. Come on, William. Show us your personality. But look, even though he's very confident about winning this Arnold Classic again, he won it in 2018, he wants to win it again, we have Big Ramy. We have Big Ramy with uh, the most shredded face that he ever had, really. I don't think we ever saw Big Ramy looking this sucked in. I don't think his face ever looked leaner at two weeks out of a show. So will he bring the best conditioning of all time, Big Ramy, this year around? It's possible, it's really possible. If that happens, he's just... You know, 300 pound monster shredded. 300 pounds shredded. And he's not even tall. I mean, he's just regular height. So I know, I know how excited you guys must be. And it's going to be amazing seeing this Arnold Classic with so many surprises, potential surprises. Like, how will do Patrick Moore? What will Sergio Oliva bring? How will Cedric McMillan be? In what shape? Will Big Grammy bring the best shape of his life? Can Dexter do, you know, well in the top three? Will William Bonac win it again? It's gonna be an amazing Arnold Classic, that's for sure. We also have a little training video of Flex Lewis, who is starting his prep, obviously. He started training for the Mr. Olympia. He does this usually. He goes off for a while and he still stays pretty big and then he starts training really hard and he gains muscle. And this guy, this guy can grow. And I'm sure he's gonna be one of the bigger guys at the Mr. Olympia 2020. Pound for pound, of course. But what about Sean Roden? The best bodybuilder in the world right now. I mean, you can just say it. He is the best bodybuilder in the world. It's just, you know, political problems that don't allow him to compete. And here is him right now. This is his physique update. And he got a little bit leaner. And uh, I, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see him back on the track. I'm pretty sure he didn't give up. I'm sure he's bringing the best yet. The best of him. So let's just wait for it. Let's wait to see him back on the stage. I'm sure it's gonna happen really soon. And whoa, what do we have here? Finally, a physique update of Kai Green. Finally. We saw so many posts of him and they were all throwbacks. But this is a new one. Because this is from a company that he started working with recently. And it's, it's obvious. He doesn't look his best. He doesn't look the way he looked back in 2016 when he competed. And um, here, here you can see that he has the size still. I mean, we saw that already. You know, he, he took a lot of photos in his uh, sweatshirt or whatever. And here you can see that he has the size, but he kind of lost the shape. Not just the conditioning, but he's starting to melt a little. Because he isn't really very young. I mean, let's, let's face it. The longer he stays out of the game, more muscle he will lose and the shape will go away with it. So, right now he has the mass, but if he really came back, could he really win the Mr. Olympia? Because there would be no point for him to come back to be <laughs> second or third or top six or whatever. You know, he moved to bigger things, stranger things, <laughs> right? And uh, the only reason, I mean, the only way it would make sense for him to come back, it would be to win the Mr. Olympia, to create an enormous legacy. But with this shape, really... Could he do it? He has the mass, but those arms start to melt. 
it looks like he used you know some some kind of oil or something i'm not really, i'm not really sure how this oil ages does it go away or is it something else but his arms definitely do look weird and his forearms are just much smaller and forearms also are looking kind of oily or whatever but look at the elbows like there is no muscle there it just looks weird and overall i mean not great conditioning of course i'm sure he actually did some kind of a mini cut uh, for this video shooting because this is the first physique update that we have okai for i don't know for many years i'm sure he prepped a little bit for this this is not just uh, you know taking his shirt not really off but you know taking this uh, sleeveless shirt and posing a little i'm sure he prepped a little for this i mean he at least uh, did a little mini cut but still it's not super impressive let's be honest I mean, it's big, he is big, but, I mean, did you expect anything more? I really didn't, you know, 2016 was the last year he competed, and that was four years ago, guys. So in four years, somebody of his age, you know, you can't really hold on to that muscle forever. So he definitely lost some of it, he lost some shape. I'm curious about his stomach, I'm sure it's bigger now. And I'm sure his waist is just much bigger, so it would be probably worse, worse illusion than before. So I don't think he has it anymore to win the Mr. Olympia if he if, if he even came back. So we don't want you, Kai. You don't need to come back. <laughs> just kidding. Of course, we want to see him on, a, on that stage, but I don't really see him winning the Mr. Olympia ever. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more Harold Classic and all kinds of bodybuilding updates. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.